Oh, here we go. Here we go. This has got to be. Yep. There we go. Boom. An AK. Now we're cooking. <coughs> Objective Max Traders. First rule when creating the account, all money and items must be deleted. You only start with the container. We did that. You cannot purchase equipment from dealers except for specialty quest items and cases. Now I'm going to like, like Lucky's have junk box and shit like that. I can, I can purchase. I'm allowed to barter with the traders, but I have to find the, the barter items in raid. Um, secure containers only for bringing things into raid. Nothing can be added during the raid. So I can't put found in raid items that, that I get during the raid in my secure container. So if I find a rare key, I got to get out with it before I can put it back up. No scav raids, no insurance, solo only. You can craft in the hideout with found in raid items and no access to the flea market at all. All right. And so it begins. I think we start woods. Yeah, we start woods. We really get spawn actually for this. If there's two weapon crates right around the corner, we could get a weapon right off the start. That's just one, but that's fine. Pistol me. Yo, I'm, I'm tempted to run over and check for the violet card, but I'm not going to. But imagine we pull the violet. On one of my hardcore counts a few wipes ago, I pulled the blue key card. We could try for attachment shack, but the chances of there being a PMC that goes to it is too high. It's a scab. I could be dead. Back it up. Stay cool, calm, and collected, boys. Act like you belong here. Now run. What do we got here? We need that 3M armor for the quest. It's kind of a nice find. Plus it gives us a little bit of armor. It's kind of risky. We're gonna check up top here for some ammo and an M4. Sound like someone dropped a weapon. Someone got dropped though. Yeah, well, at least we know where he's shooting from now. Here we go. Weapon. Fuck. Maybe not. Damn it. MP5 spawn there. Need 
that morphine. Here we go. I'm curious if someone got sniped on top of that rock though because like there was the sound of a, dr a weapon dropping so like that uh... Can't go back and check though because person was very obviously overwatching it The lord knows I want to This is probably not gonna work Because there's a lot of scav spawns up here Sometimes they don't spawn though this might be one of those times. All I need is a weapon and I drop a scav and then I take the scav's gear and just continuously upgrade. And the game is saying, nah, fuck you. You don't, you don't need it. You don't get a weapon. You don't need a weapon. You don't deserve a weapon. It's because of the name, probably. Give me an impact grenade. Two smokes. They're refusing to give me any lethal. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This has got to be... Yep, there we go. Boom. An AK. Now we're cooking. And we're almost full on it, too. Give me a 5.5. Five. I'm going to want that ammo, but we, we got to kill something first. I can use my safety container to pick up items like that and drink it or eat it, but I have to stand still while doing it. Otherwise, I can only use the alpha to bring stuff back into raid, not out of raid. There should, probably will be a scab over here. I don't go into the sunken village with no armor. I guess I got armor on. Going to the sunken village is risky period though. Got a pair of noodles that we need. I'm going to go back for those items. It's a little bit of ammo and... Yeah, a rare item that I'll grab. Food and hydration, I guess. Honestly, I should check the food and hydration spawns just so I can grab maybe like Tashanka or something. I could grab that 3M armor. The 3M armor is pretty, uh, pretty easy to find though. Food and hydration, ammo. Those are going to be some big ticket items uh, this run. Was in here again? Yeah. Okay, that's a scab. Should we keep that for now?
He's got an armor. Armored rig. Taz. I know I, the Taz. We're gonna have to play Ground Zero first, and Ground Zero, we're almost guaranteed to get a Taz. Like it'd be, it'd be crazy to not get a Taz. We can't. We don't have access to selling the fleas, so there's no point in grabbing sugar. I should have grabbed that bandage though. I'll grab a couple things to vendor just because I want money to heal through therapist. Which I know on some hardcore rules that you can't do that, but I'm going to because I'm telling you right now, I will forget. I need that actually. Let's drink it. I'm mean, gonna forget it, it's muscle memory after, you know, tens of thousands of raids to heal through. So I, I guarantee I'm gonna do it. Yeah, okay, let's start working a little towards the extract. We got the initial gear we need to go to ground zero and knock out some quests. And then we can get more gear there. Honestly, a pretty good starting run, I will say. We got armor, we got helmet. If we could get a set of ears, I'd be really happy. We got backup armor. Honestly, if I could find a grizzly, that'd be sick. Cause then I, then I have heals. I won't be repairing my armor through the traders though. I will have to get a armor repair kit and then upgrade my hideout. Oh. Oh, fuck yeah, it's huge. Oh, and a morphine. It's also a big one. This is just a scab. No point. There, a PMC wouldn't just randomly stop there. Mess that up. It's okay. He's got a better storage rig for me. Take their knives. Yeah, probably should be actually. Because you can barter the knives. That should be. I think it's the brown tip or brown handle ones, right? Or is it the black handle? Someone's taking the car out already. So it's honestly for the better that way. Someone's less likely to be at the village. Marsh brother, please. We 
gotta get going. I could try and kill the scout to my right. If he doesn't have an S Marsh, then I just wasted a lot of time potentially getting to my extract. We got it, boys. We got it. It's easy. You guys doubted. Told you. If we went for that scab kill and he didn't have an S Marsh, we were done. So we got two of our morphines. Got a golden star. Got a gas analyzer. Got our two noodles. That's huge. We got a weapon some ammo bandage no ears it's fine and now we go to ground zero all right good spawn for what we got to do i have to touch this extract over here and there's some med spawns that we can have okay it's a good thing to let me go into that ladder i heard that's bad luck i think i used up some of my luck last round As I said, does it not does it not count going in the corner there? Yeah, much love, guys. Cody, thanks for the full year. What do we got here? Give me a storage rig. Nice. That's why I didn't bring in my tactical rig and just the bag. Cause you're not like guaranteed a bag, but you're guaranteed a storage rig off scabs. So I'll leave my storage rig in the stash and then bring in this one or find one in raid rather. But the bag I'll bring in cause it's not guaranteed that. quest over here to my right I go through the garage and then grab um, the key go up grab the hard drive you need that for the hideout
We'll hit up the dead bodies and the filing cabinets and stuff. I'll try and doink some scavs. This is also a round where I'm trying to gather some gear. Get plenty of meds and food, hydration, some ammo. Since we can't buy any of this stuff off the flea or from the vendors, you gotta stock up early. get the key from the corner Pretty much the shotgun we need. We need to get a hard drive now from one of the PCs and we can have the quest done. We need the TBL laser, but we can get one of those as well. Maybe be careful just walking in here because people do camp it. You can get in via the window. My main objectives this round will be the... objectives this round will be the um ice green teas to shot like the food items i need um and the quest completed gas analyzers if i can get it some type of ammo or uh med items a sl you know slay which would be clutch because there's a lot of medical spawns I was going to doink me there. I have to go up here for the grenade launcher. Or a mounted machine gun, actually. The grenade launcher is at the other one. But there's also some things we can search. Gas analyzer. like to have it but no, no room I'd rather have this storage rig the cool thing about doing this hardcore count is you really have to prioritize what to keep and what to take I need to open up a um a Tarkov tracker.io so I can keep a little bit better track on what I have first what I need I'm gonna grab both those bolts because I need two bolts and two nuts to start crafting or uh, to get my workbench. And then I need to find a, um, a weapon repair kit or an armor and weapon repair kit. So then I can repair my shit. And I think I need the lavatory as well. 
And across the street we go. Check for food items. Dead scams. No Muslim. It's fine. We need the shotgun. We have more than the Mosin. Okay, we just gotta grab uh this last location then we can go take the car out it's okay nice that ice cream is actually pretty clutch eat this herring and then I'm gonna grab this guy drink it I've already got two noodles from the first round and they need Iskra and um, Tashanka large Tashanka now we're gonna have to go back to woods this next raid so we'll get it likely then so now we can work our way back to the car and we'll finish the quests on this map That was a good round. Um, oh. Yeah. The bandit shouldn't have went in there. Didn't realize it did. To my knowledge, Tarkov servers are rough. <clears throat> I turned in the Vaseline because I already had um, a golden star. But I didn't have a heavy bleed stopper, a light bleed stopper, and a med, and a splint. Like these are some necessities. So, you can buy a dock case or a suitcase, you can barter for it. I can I I can only buy the items with cash. So like on therapist, you can buy this lucky scav junk box for one point one mil. I could buy that or dog tags case for cash. But I can't, uh, I can't purchase the lion cat statue and four horses to then buy the, the dog station therapist. I'll have to find those items in raid to then barter with therapist. Okay. So now we have, oh, I gotta turn that in. There we go. Quest reward, headset, clutch, good call. So, we got introduction now and debut where we have to kill five scavs and grab two shotguns and look for slaywas. So, woods is the, the choice here. Again, don't need a rig. We'll find one in raid. Damn, it's different with, ear with ears. Horse, two horses, nice. I saw the golden rooster, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Sturman being, being up is kind of nice because I can, uh, nice. The CMS gets huge. I can kind of just bank on the PMCs and everyone pushing him. PMO good. It's good when you can't buy any ammo. And it's honestly not bad as a whole. Hey, 
buddy. And fuck. That was a free ass kill. Oh, front left. I'm blind. It's fine. I whiffed. He can live. Oh. I have loot in my secure container because hardcore rule sets are entirely made up and they're meant for fun. And so you can kind of adjust them to your liking. I've done rules in the past where I had no secure container. I've done rules in the past where you can only bring keys in the secure container. I've done rules in the past where you could do this right here, where you, br you can bring stuff back into raid, but not put anything in raid in there. So if we find any keys or anything, you got to bring it out of raid to bring it back in. I found this one to be the most fun. Okay, I'm not going to worry about going up top there. We're going to go get the letter. It'd be cool to have a uh, server dedicated to like hardcore and it just it already it, like it put all the rules in place like automatically applied it that'd be really cool and then like tweak the rule set for hardcore or not tweak the, tweak the loot pool for hardcore it's like you find more gear and ammo or, or attachments and shit like that and then you just didn't have a secure container period I feel like that'd be pretty damn fun. This is a hardcore version of Tarkov is a fucking blast. But it's difficult when you're going against people that aren't on a hardcore account and they could buy, you know, meta ass gear. You run into that one W key Chad that sees uh, Timmy running around with a duffel bag. They can be tough. But it's one of the cool things for the hardcore count is like when you pick up a good kill, like a Chad, you're like, oh fuck, you know, that would like hell yeah. I need to get out with this gear. Right? Like on my main account, I I killed some players that had fleers earlier. Like two fleers and I was loaded. And I still went and pushed fights. It's not a bad idea with the cross. Uh, I'd rather have the trooper though. It just it blends in more. The cross it ends up sticking out a decent amount, and I don't know how much level two is gonna actually protect me. 
I don't think the cross actually uh, maybe it can I think it can I think you can take my plates actually Yeah. Another CMS. It's big. I'm gonna check the plane for loot and then grab the letter, and then I think I'm gonna hit the med camp too. Oh, grizzly. has been looted we have a dead scab there too or there This many scabs to spawn right there. Since I don't know where that sniper was that shot at me. I'm gonna risk, or not risk, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna take this. Wait. No mags for it. I'm gonna take that though, I guess. Can I pick the mags up off the ground? I can. Yeah, the muzzle device. I don't think I can put the. I can't take this off in raid. Uh, that would have to be after raid. Um, I was switching guns because I don't have ammo for that other gun anymore. I would like to keep it. Don't get me wrong. I don't have ammo for it. Like I can put this bastion on there and. ammo for this see I'm running over there kill this guy
I think we already have the ice cream teas we need, but I'm gonna take this just in case. And we got larger mags. This is pretty nice. I think I've got like a 60 stack of BPMO already. I've got some PPMO. I think another 60 stack. You find 545 ammo way more commonly. need more oh the bastion can't go on this okay fair um, I do have the one that does go on it, the Pilgrim. Yeah, the Bastion goes on my 74M. That's what I was using on. The Pilgrim, the same thing, really. But I, I have one of those from last round. I hope so, at least. Hope I kept it. Any quests? That's the goal. And I'm going for max traders, so questing is... Yeah, that's a big part of it. I'm going to check for um, some Iskra, gas analyzers, and Dishanka here and maybe at the village as well. As long as no one's taking the car out, we can do that. <clears throat> That's big. Keep an eye on the uh, car. Make sure no one takes it. Because that is my extract. Ow. Took a vendor money. True. But most of the stuff I have on me are good quest items, so. I have to install some aim labs, folks. takes the need away from having to collect med uh piles piles of med i'm pretty sure we have the ice cream that we need it's the two of them and i think we have enough squash too i think we only need the crackers now we definitely have enough squash we have enough squash on us but i think we have one in the hideout already See, like, 545 ammo, it's just so much easier to come by. I'm not worried about checking upstairs. All right, let's roll. Cutting it close. Cutting it close. I'm just getting prone here. It's so late in the raid that I'm hoping no one is, like, coming this way at all. This shouldn't be. It's a good round. We're progressing. progressing that's a good one
It's okay. We got we got one of them. We can buy the multi-tool. It's a specialty item. I know someone's wondering. I am tempted to repair the gun, but I also am not going to. We're going to stick by the rule of, of needing to find the armor and weapon repair kit. I mean, go back to woods. We need one more shotgun. We need one more shotgun. 